Hey guitar players, how's it going? It's Nate here. And uh, I got an email this week from a student who was asking me if we had one consolidated spot where they could go to learn all the basic fundamental chords that they need to play music. And I thought about it, I was like, man, I really don't have anything like that. So I figured this is something that I need to put together. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the top 20 chords that every guitar player needs to know in order to play pop music or you know cover songs. Let's go ahead and get started. C major is the gateway chord. If you can get this one down, you're gonna be building a lot of the coordination and dexterity you need to play all the rest of these chords. And one thing that'll really help you play C major chord is to get your elbow in a little bit closer towards your body that'll enable you to come down right on the very tips of your fingers. And if you need help building the dexterity coordination ability to play this chord, check this video out. It's on the C major chord specifically, but it'll help you out with all these chords. The next chord is an open A major. And this one gets a bad rap because it's really tough to fit all your fingers in one fret and kind of scrunch them up. One tip that'll help you a little bit. If you want, you could switch your first and your second fingers around like this. It's a little bit easier to play. I use both. The open G major chord can give a lot of newer players trouble, but there are two different ways you can make it. You can make it with your first, second, and third fingers, a little bit easier. Or you can make it with your second, third, and fourth fingers which makes it easier to switch between a G and a C, but give both of those ways a try. It's good to be able to do both. Next chord is E major. This one is super full sounding because it uses all six strings. And it's gonna be important later on for when you start to get into bar chords. D major, the happiest chord on the guitar, and it only uses four strings. You leave the low E and A strings out completely. The emotional animal of the open chords is A minor. And it's just like an E major. You just move it over one string set and leave the low E string out. Just five strings. E minor, easiest chord in the world and the rock and roll chord. Pretty easy. If D major is the happiest chord in the world, D minor has got to be the saddest chord in the world. Still just the top four strings there. Let's get into some bar chords and we're gonna kind of double dip on a few chords so we can squeeze these all in. The first one is an F major bar chord. All you're doing is taking your E major shape, moving it up and slapping a bar with your index finger across all six strings. Yes, all six strings. But you don't have to play this entire shape like this. You can get just the top four strings like this, just the top five, or you can go for the full bar. Now, if you need help building the coordination and dexterity and you know rudimentary skills to play bar chords, check this video out. It has a lot of really good tips. You can use that exact same shape to play not only an F major, but an F sharp major too. And again, you don't have to do the whole thing. You can do little partials if you like. F minor just uses the E minor shape, moves it up a half step and slaps that bar down again. And you'll notice my second finger is coming back and helping with the bar duties back here just to make it easier on my index finger. But that's the basic shape for an F minor. If you want to make it to an F sharp minor, move it up a half step. And if you need a G minor, you can move it up another half step to where your bar is on the third fret. And again, you don't have to play that entire shape. You can do just the top three strings like this, the little bar, top four strings, or go for the full bar. To play a B major chord, all you have to do is kind of think about bar chords in the same way, only using your A shape. Make your A with these three fingers, move it up to where it's on the fourth fret, and then come down with a bar on the second fret. And I'm leaving my low E string out of this. I'm just kind of muting it with my index finger and playing just the top five strings there. And we're gonna double dip here too. We're gonna to go from this B major, move it down one half step to a B flat major. And again, same thing applies here. You don't have to play all five strings. You can do just maybe the top three. We can do just the these right here with the index finger from a B to a B flat, or you can go full bar. B minor is just an A minor chord. You can move up two frets and then a bar across the five strings. Leave the low E string out. And a tip here is if you're new to bar chords, just work on the bar at first. Don't even worry about the shape. Just get the bar technique down to where it's clean. And then after a few days or a few weeks, then do the full bar chord. You can do B minor, or you can move it down a half step to where your bar is on the first fret for a B flat minor. If you need to play a C minor, put your bar on the third fret and that'll give you a C minor. 
All right, let's get into some seventh chords. These sound really bluesy, but they also sound kind of hokey on their own, but they're very important chords. So C7, if you already know your regular open C chord, this one's really easy. All you have to do is play open C, and then put your pinky down on the third fret of the G string, C7. For an A7, just put your A on, and then lift your middle finger up, or the note on the second fret of the G string, and play that open. You can hear the blues there. E7, really easy again. All you have to do is put an E major chord on and then lift your third finger up to play that D string open. All right, the happiest chord in the world is about to turn into a hobo. <laughs> this chord just sounds like a guy riding down a train, playing an acoustic guitar, playing some blues. All you have to do is take your D major chord and move this note on the B string back one whole step back here, but the fingering changes a little bit to make it easier for you. All right, another triple dip. We're gonna do a G7 chord, but we're also gonna use it for our F sharp seven and our F seven chord. So all you have to do is make your E bar chord shape and kind of the same thing with the open E, turn that into a seventh chord. Just take your pinky off. That's a G7, F sharp seven, and then an F seven. Last dominant seventh chord is a B7, and we're gonna use that for a B flat seven as well. So all you have to do is take your regular B shape and then take your third finger off. You can play it like that or you can play it like this. It's really up to you. But you move it back one half step to play B flat seven. All right, for these last two chords, I need you to just stick with me because they sound kind of weird, but they do pop up from time to time and you do need to know them. The first one is just a diminished chord and it sounds pretty nefarious. You can run around the neighborhood on Halloween scaring little kids with this one. But it looks just like a D7 chord for just a regular F sharp diminished chord. Only you don't play the D string, you just play the top three strings, F sharp, A, and C. Super easy voicing that's movable. Anyway, if you want to play a G sharp diminished, you can move it here. If you want to play F diminished, move it there. The last type of chord is just an augmented chord, and this one sounds very troubled or angst, angsty or full of tension. Very tentative. But all you have to do is think of um, an F major chord, like the top little part of an F major chord, and then raise the fifth. And that's all an augmented chord is, is a major chord of the raised fifth. You can go learn minor sevenths, major sevenths, ninths, elevenths, sixty fourths, Windows 2000, but these are the chords that you need to play through most of the songs that you want. So do you think I've left off any really important chords in this list? Let me know in the comments below. And if you need help, again, playing any of these chords, getting them down, you can check the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. That? Yeah. Um, I just started here, like these two notes, which would be the third and the fifth of the D chord. Put them down a half step, play it. It kind of sounds like a train, right? And then slide them up, and then put my index finger on the seventh. You're like sliding and then hammering on? Yeah.